We're at day 23 of the 30 day movie challenge and today I'm bringing you a film that means a lot to me personally. There's only one answer to this question, honestly. So let's explore it. Hello everyone and welcome back to the 30 day movie challenge. Get in there, get in there, nearly at the end. So today I'm going to bring you my answer to this question here, a movie that means a lot to me personally. Now my mind jumps towards only one film, one film, one film only, which is quite surprising because I've got three children, right? Um, you'd think that maybe one of them. Um, there's films that, that do mean a lot to me, Ferris Bueller. Great film, a film that I've enjoyed with all three of my children as they've grown up and they've got a liking for it. Jurassic Park, the first Jurassic Park, the, the, the final film that I saw at the cinema with my mother before she passed away the year after. Um, so there's, there's films like that, do you know what I mean? But no, there's one film and one film only that means a lot to me personally over every other one. And, and that film here is... Yes, the 2004 Punisher movie. Um, this is a very symbolic film of my life. It's, it's got a lot of... Um, 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 there's a lot. There's a lot to unpack here. Okay, so let's get into it. I've just hit the camera with my knee. How silly of me. Uh, and I've done it again. Um, so let's get into this one. Let's unpack it. Okay, so 2004 The Punisher. Okay, so I've read comic books. Um, from sort of mid to late 80s up till now and the one comic character that I have stuck with throughout regardless of artist writer whatever they do with the character is Marvel's The Punisher it's the one character that I gravitated towards it's the one character where when I started reading it I went back and picked up everything that came before Literally everything. I mean, up to you know, up to and including a CGC graded Spider-Man, Amazing Spider-Man 129, which is the first appearance of the Punisher, which is worth uh, a good few thousand pound if if I could find someone to buy it. Um, that being said, I wouldn't sell it. I've got I've got a, a Punisher issue one signed by Thomas Jane, the actor who played the Punisher in the 2004 film. Um, so the character means a lot to me in the sense of, of I've read it and collected that character for a long, 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 long time to date. Even through what Marvel has recently done to the character and, and basically crapped all over it. But anyway, that aside. So obviously in 1989 we had the Dolph Lundgren Punisher film. Now, long before the days of the MCU and the comic book extravaganzas that we get now, comic book movies were a pipe dream. They were something that, as a comic book reader, me and the fan base, comic book fan base, we could only dream about getting. Yes, you had your Supermans, you had um, the Batmans come along in the 1980s, but Marvel themselves couldn't get nothing off of the ground. And this, you know, and, and they gave us some poor adaptations, Captain America... Um, all stuff like that. So, um, obviously we had, you know, the X-Men come about, Blade, X-Men, Spider-Man, and then they announced they were doing a Punisher for 2004. Punisher starring this geezer that I didn't know other than from Deep Blue Sea. Um, Thomas Jane, I remember the very first image of Thomas Jane in a skull shirt, um, his hair was still blonde or brownie as he has it, not dark like it is in the film. Um, and I was super excited. I was so, so, so excited. Right. Then came the date announcement of the release of this film in the US. And it was on my birthday, April the 16th. It was being released on my birthday in America. So for me, it was like, oh, you know, this is a, a birthday present come out, you know, well, not come early, but do you know what I mean? It's like, here's my favourite character of all time that I've read for now for years and years and years. 
and there's a film of his coming out with a geezer who was quite good in Deep Blue Sea being released on my birthday. It's like a little birthday gift. Do you know what I mean? So there's that connection to it. So here in the UK, we didn't get it until the 24th of September of 2004. Now, that had proved to be a fateful day for me. Or an unfaithful day. Whatever you want to look at it. Right. So anyway... So by this point, I'd already seen the film anyway, because the film had been and gone in America. The pirates had come out, and I'd actually got a release of the film on physical media, on Region 1 DVD. It came out before we got it over here, or around the same time. So I had it um, before it, it came out um, in the cinemas here. So it isn't like I hadn't seen the film, but on this fateful day... I was doing my journey to work on a motorbike. I used to run a motorbike. Um, and it was a lovely day. It was a lovely morning. Sun was shining. Like I said, 24th of September. So late summer going into... It was just sort of technically just hit the autumn. But still late. You know what I mean? Still very nice and warm. Sun out. I'm drive, riding along. Um, visor up. I've got a protective jacket on. But I'm just wearing normal trousers. Um, and... I'm heading through a place called Hayes, Hayes in 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 Kent, um, towards Locksbottom, Orpington, heading in that direction, and the traffic was quite heavy, and I've gone over the brow of a hill, not a hill, but more of a you know bump, big, whatever you want to call it, right? Um, there's a motorbike in front of me, and I'm sort of following him through, and he's gone through and. All of a sudden, the car's decided to, from stationary position, just pull out in front of me like this to head up this crossroads. There was a crossroads, but the giveaways are on, not on the stretch of road I'm on. So he's obviously seen the first motorbike come through, then decided now's my chance to go. Not seeing that there was a second motorbike coming along behind, which was me. Um, and I was doing, okay, I was going a bit fast. I was probably doing about 40 mile an hour, I'll be honest. It was a 30 zone, and I hit this car. I had no chance to stop at all. Um, literally just came straight out in front of me. Um, and I've hit him at, at his, his front wheel. Um, and, and I remember shouting out the word wang. I only got wang out, that's all I got before collision, and everything sort of just went tunnel vision, darkness, then like that and um, what happened was I'd managed to swerve slightly so I was now pointing across the road so I'd hit him I then flew apparently apparently um, across this road onto grass verge on the other side just narrowly missing a concrete post that was in the ground um, uh, I woke up in hospital um, in and out of consciousness, lost one hell of a lot of blood. I really don't know what happened. And I had um, injuries to my face where I had the visor had pushed in and tore my nose open. Um, I know you probably can't see it, but there's a line that goes across my nose right there. See that line? Um, it went under here, around there, all this sky around my eye. Um, all, all across there, my nose was open like that. Um, obviously my wife at the time, she got a call to come to the hospital, horrible for her. At one point she even got taken out of, of the waiting room and said, we need to speak to you in private. Um, at which point, you know, she was dreading the news that basically I'd passed away sort of thing. Um, stuff happened, stuff happened, let's just say that. And um, anyway, well, that weren't the worst of my injuries. What what happened was I had this um, I had this puncture wound in my coccyx, right? Um, which is you know where that is the tailbone, basically near the anus. Let's get a bit graphic here. And I had a hole that ran parallel up into my back, parallel to the anus. Um, run up into my back about eleven inches, that deep. And it was uh, the size of a 50p piece. It was that size. Gone up and tracked up into my back. So 
I wasn't able to walk for about five or six months before I could even start walking um, effectively. And even then it was like pigeon steps. It was proper pigeon steps. I didn't break a bone in my body. Not a bone in my body. How this puncture occurred, no idea whatsoever. Um, now, I, I remember before they operated there was talk that they I may have had to have been fitted with a um, a colostomy bag because they didn't know whether these two you know my anus and this hole had, had connected inside if they had obviously there's infection chance of infection of of feces coming through that into the into the wound um, so, uh, uh, and I was made aware of that before I went into operating theatre, because like I said, I was in and out, in and out of consciousness. Um, I woke up, I remember waking up, this was probably a couple of days after, because I was so heavily meditated, and I remember laying there, you're laying there, and you're thinking with your mind, and you're trying to fill your body with your mind, and I'm, I'm sort of trying to fill my stomach to feel if there's any tube coming out with my mind, if that makes sense. Um, if I can feel anything, any soreness or anything, and I go and touch my stomach, there's nothing there, there's, there's no tube or anything. Um, and, and luckily, even though these were parallel, there was no connection between the two. Um, anyway, that particular injury, it took, I'm not going into detail, but it, that, that particular injury, that hole took, a good maybe three three and a half years to actually heal up effectively fully um and there we go obviously now i can walk i can run i can do whatever um, um but yeah so 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 the punisher this this is where i'm saying about the punisher meaning a lot to me and the it's this one character that i've followed all the while all the time up to now my favorite comic book character of all time synonymous with specific dates and events in my life that coincide with one another um yeah so there's yeah yeah that's the one film that's the one film and 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 if you know me and if you watch this channel you know that i had to work the punisher into this somewhere um of course i did i know there's a question upcoming what's your favorite superhero um Will the Punisher appear? No, he won't. I'll give you a little heads up now. It's not the Punisher, because the Punisher's not a superhero. He's a comic book character. He doesn't have superpowers. So, ergo, he's not a superhero. So it's not that for that, okay? Anyway, that's me done. That's my little talk. Got a little bit serious on this one. Hope you stayed with it. Um, but yeah, there's a lot more to that story. But, you know, I won't go into depth. There's some nasty stuff. But there we go. Anyway. Back tomorrow with maybe a little bit more levity, I don't know, with this one.